Hey everyone, Todd Black. Welcome to this month's episode of Living with Wildlife in Eagle Mountain City. Today, we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite. We're gonna talk about mice, gophers, voles, and rats. We got permitted with the state of Utah to conduct a five-year research project where we're looking at diversity and abundance of our small mammals, our rodents, at 20 different sites across the city. We want to look at what species of rodents are in those areas. We want to look at their abundance, how many did we catch, and we want to monitor those over time so that as we continue to develop and continue to grow across the city, we're going to know what kind of wildlife winners and what kind of wildlife losers we have when it comes to our rodent populations. Just like with birds, some rodents do well with urban sprawl and development and others don't. I have uh, 40, they're live traps, so the little critters go in there, they trip the trap and they're stuck in there and then I come back first thing in the morning and let them go. We identify them and uh, classify them whether they're adults or juveniles and then we just simply let them go. The species that we've caught, the deer mouse or the paramiscus Sonoranensis, if you want to press your friends, has been the most common and the most abundant. We've caught those everywhere at every site. We've also caught a brush mouse, which are more up into the pinion juniper habitat. We've caught uh, just the common house mouse. And we've also caught one uh, Great Basin pocket mouse. So right now we're out here west of town this morning and come with us and we're gonna go see what we have in our traps. So this is the most common mouse that we've caught at our trap sites, and this is what's called a deer mouse. Probably the easiest way to tell them is their white underbelly, and they'll either be gray or brown up here, but they always have a bicolored tail. I don't know if you can see that. It's white underneath and dark on top. You have to be careful with these. Actually, deer mice are a carrier of hantavirus, although not common at all in Utah County. Little cute little deer mouse, this is an adult. So we're going to let him go and pretty soon he's going to warm up and take off. A lot of people have asked, how come I'm just not getting rid of these? Um, I know a lot of you probably have problems with mice at your house, gophers at your house, and even voles. So if you do, Utah State University Extension has a really good source of what these species will look like and what some of the damages you might be seeing at your house and how you can take care of them. Until next time, enjoy Eagle Mountain Wildlife.